All right, man, let's talk about Blake Quorum. Um, and I think he's the best player in college football. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all the notifications, increase your chance of notifications. We go live or drop the video. I'll hit the link tree. And I said, in the link tree, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you need to reach out, Spotify, Anchor, appreciate the uh, support. Cash out Venmo, PayPal. So, um, what he's doing this year is pretty much unheard of. I think, uh, Michigan has had seven games so far, so they rolling, and um, they going into the bye week as well. A lot of people like C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, you know, getting the shit beat out of him, excuse my language right now, by Tennessee. I don't think it's pretty much over with. So um, as you're watching the video, I got Michigan State on the screen. They down 7-0. But nonetheless, right, um, and, you know, I, I mean – this this dude, man, he put on 20 pounds of muscle all in his lower body out here. And that's where you're supposed to put it on that as an athlete anyway. Um, unless you, you know, playing in the trenches or something like that, or some, you know, whatever the situation may be. But dude, I, I mean, he he is probably the best player I've seen in football. You know, some great talents out there. Uh, the Texas quarterback who came back, Ayers, Ayers, really good guy. Um, Bryce Young is phenomenal. CJ Straw is he's solid. I ain't the biggest fan, not because he had he Ohio State. Y'all know I, uh, I'm advocated for uh, for Justin Fields. I thought he would be pretty good, right? Um, I thought he'd be pretty good, but uh, you know, but uh, but I, I I have my reasons why I'm not going to pretty much go into. It. Well, I guess I could. I just see. Um, I just see, um, you know, when he plays, you know, in big games, he don't necessarily show up. You know, he pretty much feasts on the teams that he posed to win, posed to beat. So that's just my opinion on it. But phenomenal talent nonetheless. But what Corm doing, man, he putting the whole offense on his back. Um, you know, he putting the whole offense on his back, bro. You know, he putting the whole offense on his back. And uh, and man, and he's doing a phenomenal job of of doing it. I mean, he scored a touchdown in every game, so he got eleven touchdowns. He three from doubling up. You know the amount of games they play and in t- touchdowns they playing. So think about that. He right there. He right there. 735 yards, 6.2 yards a carry. You know, he almost did doing better than his numbers last year. I know he already got the same amount of touchdowns. The yards per average is different. He almost got the almost same amount of carries already. You know what I'm saying? And receiving, he doing he doing some dirt in receiving too. I like to see him get more opportunities there. So I mean, he you know just watching him, man. He breaking off big runs. They playing good teams. They played the fifth ranked. Um, they played the fifth ranked run defense in um, in the nation of Penn State, and he ran through them. I mean, he had a good game versus Ohio State last year, I believe. I think he played in that game last year. But he balling. He rolling, man. He need that recognition, dude. He need to be up for the Heisman. He really do. He need to be up for the Heisman, man. He need to be up for the Heisman. You know, and I, don't, I ain't seen a player better than him, you know, all year. You know, it's a phenomenal ones, but who doing what he doing? He literally putting the offense on his back. Literally. Literally. So, um, but, uh, well, we, we just gonna have to wait and see. Well, hopefully, you know, he able to hopefully he able to get that recognition. Hopefully. Cause he for sure he sure do deserve it. You know, and that'd be great uh recruiting, you know, uh chip for uh for hardball as well, too. But man, he phenomenal, man. I seen a lot of great backs at Michigan. When you start talking about the A train and you know Mike Hart and I mean you know you just keep going on and on. 
you know, and he and he put the work in in the off season to be more durable. And obviously, he's gonna have his moment, especially if he's able to stay healthy. He's gonna have his moment. Um, he's gonna be able to have his moment going into uh, Ohio State, Michigan State game, and Ohio State game. So he got time. But man, he can stay, stay healthy and you know keep rolling, man. Probably gonna roll right into a first round pick next year, especially if they can continue to show off his receiving skills too. You know. So but yeah, I you know, I, I just I've been watching, I'm I'm been impressed. He's electric, man. Not only electric this year, he's like dependable and sturdy. You know what I'm saying? He's like dependable and sturdy, and he's running tougher now. And you know, you put 20 pounds of muscle over the offseason on. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know, he was trying to drive, drive to be great. And he running with power, didn't lose much speed. If off any speed at all, probably gained some putting that muscle down there. You know, and obviously got a good PIC partner, crime and Donovan Edwards and JJ McCarthy also opened up some things for him. And be have to respect him in his mobility, so everything clicking. This next thing for him is just to get involved, get him, get him involved a little bit more in the in the passing game because he can't do that as well too and do it really well. But then again, when you got Donovan Edwards behind you, and he really, really good in the passing game. You know what I'm saying? Um, when he really, really good in the passing game, then you know he probably gonna take up a lot of those 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 opportunities, but. Uh, they got to make an adjustment. The teams gonna start stacking the box and like they start seeing them in the screen game and outside the hashes, inside the hashes, catching the balls and stuff of that nature. So, but yeah, man, he definitely one, if not the best college, if not the best college football player, one of the best college football players um, in the country right now. So, yeah, I think he deserved that recognition. He deserved to be up there and what he's doing, and hopefully he keep him going. Last year, durability was an issue. He put the weight on, he put more weight on, and. Um, You know, and you keep going, man. You make a lot of money in his professional career. So uh let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, that subscribe button is the bell icon button, hit all notification, appreciate chance notifications. We go live, drop video financially. You want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good313, Venmo CJ Good313. Access that to my link tree as well, too, along with Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know in the comment section. Check out the College Sports Talk playlist. More videos like this. Peace.